Hi, my name is Mo, and I'm a member of the Solutions Engineering team here at Smartsheet. Today, we're going to walk through our Control Center Quick Start solution. What is the Control Center Quick Start solution? Leveraging this solution, our customers will be able to deploy an automated, standardized portfolio management solution that can be stood up in weeks while also empowering them on enablement to grow and scale this solution over time. Now, before we get into the demonstration, I'd like to provide a bit of context to help frame things up. Now, whether you're new to Smartsheet or have a lot of Smartsheet experience, there are a few core components of Smartsheet that will be forefront in our solution today. First, we have Sheets. This is where the data lives, whether that's individual processes, workflows, or milestones that need to be tracked per project. Next, we have Reports. Reports allow us to consolidate the information from the sheets. We can group, filter, sort, and sum in various ways to surface insights. And next we've got dashboards. This is where we provide views for various stakeholders, whether that's rolling data up into a portfolio level dashboard for executive visibility, or pulling data to a project dashboard for more details at a granular level. Ultimately, all these layers are interconnected so that updates made in one area funnel into the other layers. This allows us to maintain data integrity and provide real-time visibility. Now the control center solution takes this whole thing to the next level by taking all the pieces required of a project structure, standardizing it, and automating the provisioning while ensuring that everything stays connected to the portfolio. This ultimately is what allows us to have standards and controls without letting go of any of that flexibility or ease of use. Now let's jump into the portfolio dashboard for our solution today. This is our portfolio dashboard. It's a live real-time view into all projects across the entire organization. At a glance, we can identify how many projects we've got, what the statuses are, how we're doing on budgets. And we can even drill down to identify where any risks or bottlenecks may be occurring. This entire dashboard stays updated as work is being done. So as schedules and timelines change, we can rest assured that we are working on the most up-to-date information. But how did we get here? Where does this data come from? Let's walk all the way back to intake and start at the beginning from where our projects initiate. We're gonna go ahead and leverage a Smartsheet form for our project intake. A form is gonna provide us consistency where each of these fields is mapped in a sheet for easy access and visibility into this data once it's provided. So I can add my project name and any other pertinent details for my team to start considering my project to come up next. Once I submit this form, I'm gonna be directed directly to my intake sheet so we can see what happened there. And just like that, we can see I've got my new project that I've submitted with all of those details. This sheet has all the project details listed so that we can compare and make approval and prioritization decisions. We can even leverage um, core sheet abilities such as automations 
to build out things like approval workflows or updates or alerts. Now, once my projects become approved, they can then be spun up automatically through Control Center and connected again automatically through Control Center to my or overall portfolio. This will eliminate any manual effort and risk that is associated with that manual effort, as well as the time taken to manually spin up these projects. Let's go ahead and take a look into a provision project now to see how we would actually um, execute on our work and collaborate together. So I've hopped into my Curiosity Project dashboard. Now this is one of those assets that my control center would blueprint across any project that I spin up or provision. So in my project dashboard, I can get quick a quick look at project details like status for tasks or completion. I can look into milestones. I can check out that budget and those raid logs for tracking risks. I can also dive into any of these quick links here, such as the schedule. This is where I've got that granular level of project schedule to manage a project to completion with the assistance of automations that could be built into various processes. Again, we've got um, a variety of automations, whether through template or from scratch that you can build out to service your needs. We can also ensure that users can access this information in a variety of ways through tools like Microsoft Teams, Slack, email, and our other various integrations, we can allow for seamless <clears throat> access and input of data entry for easy adaptability and collaboration for users to work within their preferred tools. Additionally, we provide flexible licensing and user permissions that allow for a multitude of users to collaborate within Smartsheet without incurring additional costs. Users can also access our Smartsheet work app. It's really just a mobile friendly way of bundling relevant information within Smartsheet and breaking it down specifically for different user roles so that they can quickly access what they need. You see, I've got a number of pages that I can quickly access and I don't lose um, all of the other items that maybe are important to me. Let's go back to this portfolio dashboard one more time. Again, this is that real-time visibility that we've been looking for. We can see into all of our project health identify what projects are at risk and drill down to find exactly where those bottlenecks are. We can even tie together different work streams across our raid logs and our budgets. And providing this access um, to our stakeholders is just so important to making sure that we are getting the best collaboration that we can. So in, in mentioning that, I would be remiss not to mention our end user dashboard also included in this solution. Most users may not need access to the entire portfolio or project schedules. Rather, they could use a dashboard such as this to filter through all of that by, by seeing just the filtered view of the projects, tasks, or issues that are assigned directly to them. This again, just makes that um, adoptability and, and streamlined uh, uh, ability to work uh, uh, an option for folks so that we can get everybody on board. Now let's go ahead and recap what we've talked about today. So it all starts with that intake. We're gonna use forms to standardize the way we capture information needed to start work. 
that intake is going to feed our intake sheet where all of those details for making decisions on approving and prioritizing projects can live. From there, Control Center will be used to automate the provisioning of projects and all assets while connecting those pieces to the overall portfolio. Change management. We know that change is constant in business. With our global updating, we can allow flexibility to add or update workflows and processes as the needs of the business evolve. And in addition, we can provide project archiving where we can archive those completed projects but maintain all of that information for easy access as needed. Thank you all for your time today. If you find that the Control Center Quick Start solution is a fit for your needs, please feel free to reach out to your account executive for more information. Thanks so much.